Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of our Tony Refresh series. So today's build is for the Spencer Kim Lewis family and I designed this home with what I found on the Sims Wiki and so it's designed for the mother who's an artist and you know wealthy doctor father is what I'm gonna go with him and then the two uh, grandparents that live there and I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do originally with this so what I ended up kind of doing was creating two buildings so we have the main house and a guest house and before we get too far, I do want to say in a couple of seconds here, it's going to skip ahead quite a bit. I'm not sure what happened to the video I recorded of me building a good amount of this house. But yeah, and it's just the shell. It's decorating. You get to see all of it, but you will see it jump ahead. But I also changed quite a bit in the floor plan that I felt I didn't need to try to go back and redo things, but it would have been difficult to redo anyway. <laughs> so, because I actually had the video. The video was there. I saw it. And I don't know what happened. I cannot find it. So, anyway, back to my kind of plan for the build once I got an idea of what the house was going to look like. I definitely wanted it to be modern. And I really wanted to just create a home that felt kind of cozy, but very big open. I also needed to put in an art studio and I, you know, an office, things like that, that fit the family vibe. Now, I did design the back guest house to be where their grandfather lives. And then there is a room in the house for the grandmother. So I, I love this. I, I do. I really love this house. I will probably play in this at some point. I don't know if it'll be for this family, but I like how it turned out. It was crazy to build. When I put all the videos into this, and keep in mind, it didn't include the missing video. It was seven and a half hours of work on this house. And I did it over about a week. So, yeah, it's it makes sense. This is base game only. However, right now, as of recording anyway, I am trying to find an object from Get Together that it says is in this build, but it doesn't show me the picture. It's just an X and I can't figure out what it is. So I'm gonna attempt to figure that out because if this is uploaded to the gallery with that in it, you, know, you won't be able to find it under base game. However, I think if it comes down to it, I'll just take out, get together and then load this up that way in a new save file so I don't screw anything else up that I already have. But yeah, because I really want these towny homes to stay with what they have. Like the this is base game only because it's base game family. When I move on to other worlds, I'm going to be including whatever, you know, packs they include or I'm sorry, other, you know, game packs. Because I'm thinking the last video seemed to do pretty well. And I'm hoping this is something you guys are interested in. Please comment below if you want me to keep going with this. 
I I need I need some feedback because this will take possibly a year or two to do. So I'm gonna go for a little while and I'm hoping that you guys will, you know, say you like it or you don't like it. But I think it's something kind of fun. The other thing I may do as my, you know, Friday builds is redo some of the community lots that I haven't done in other things or, you know, maybe I've just, I've done, but I want more stuff in it. And those, I'm thinking, cause I'm thinking of actually making this as like a save file when I'm all said and done, if I do the whole thing. So the builds will probably also reflect the world they're in. So base game only worlds will be base game only. All right. So the other thing with this house is I really wanted it to kind of have a different look than necessarily the block. And I also wanted to give a little bit of homage to the original build. So that's why like I have this nice little triangular area here. That was kind of fun to figure out what to do with. <laughs> Mostly because, again, this base game only. Limited with what I could do, but I figured out a few things and I really liked how it turned out. And I will say, going back and doing these builds, even with base game only, it's a lot of fun. I'm surprised at what I can find in base game and like debug that works really well in these builds. And as I said, I really do like how these turned out. Now, for anybody who is wondering about, well, you know, th there's a lot of empty space. I am doing that on purpose with some of these base game builds because if you own other packs, you have room to add things. I don't want to clutter this up with a bunch of base game stuff that you have to go in and delete. Um, these are, you know, meant to be able to be played in and enjoyed without having to add anything. But if you have other packs, you can. So the other thing with this living room that I was struggling with is this wall here. I wanted to put something. I found these cool pictures. These are in that miscellaneous like category for decorations in debug, if you're wondering where those are. But I wasn't sure I really liked them being there. And really in my mind, this house is eventually going to be filled with artwork that, you know, the girls made. <laughs> that was kind of my thought, but I didn't want to just leave it with, you know, nothing on the walls either. So that was my thought process. So some of the artwork might look weird or like I did put in some gallery artwork. However, I have not, I've uploaded this to my library and it's not saying that it is custom content, but I have had that problem in the past. So just a heads up, some of that artwork might come down. What I'm thinking of doing is actually having in, you know, going in myself with a sim that has, you know, cheat their art skill and just make a whole bunch of pictures that use in-game stuff. Uh, I might use this lot to do it because it has a nice art studio. Um, but just to get some artwork that should be, you know, fine with the game that I can use in some of these builds. Uh, when I want artwork that, you know, looks like 
a sim did it. That, that's been my only issue is there's really not a lot of that. And when you go on the gallery, sometimes it says it's custom content. So. <laughs> All right. So anyway, you can see I'm kind of playing with the entry walls. I started building this and decided here that I really didn't like the staircase. So this is where I'm like, all right, we're going to change this and wrap it around. And I like how this works so much better. And part of that was originally I wanted you to have to walk through the living room and then into the dining room that way. But as I thought about it, I'm like, no, I think I want that to go right to the back. After I started building, I just realized that was just kind of silliness. And the stairs look so closed off. And yeah, I'm like, no, that doesn't look like a modern build to me. The, you know, a modern build would have the staircase kind of open. So <laughs> that's why I said missing out on, you know, me floor planning a little bit really wasn't that big of a deal <laughs> because I changed a few things. All right, so the other problem with doing mansions that are base game only is trying to figure out how to fill some of this space. Um, but I think I did a decent job. And hopefully, you know, Everything looks good once you download it. I had a couple of issues because I'll save these to my library and then put them into a different world. And part of the reason I do that is to see if we're going to have maybe any issues with things moving or looking funny. I did have a couple issues with some of the decor tricks I did in the bedroom. So... Yeah, just a heads up for that. You might have something that looks funny. But other than that, the other thing, just because I noticed it, is I had a comment at one point asking if I could stop building with the grid on. As you can see, the grid is on. Now, during this video, it will randomly turn off and on. And what I have been noticing is as I'm building, even if I turn it off, it just randomly turns back on. And it has nothing to do with me saving. It has nothing to do with me, you know, ending a video, recording later. It, I mean, some of it does because I'll forget to turn it off. I don't see the grid, but that's because I'm a drafter by trade. I am used to seeing grids on stuff like this. So for me, I don't notice it, but it's something I'm trying. I have noticed a, a lot, if not all speed builders seem to take that grid off. I have not figured out how to maybe do it permanently. But if you know a trick for that, please let me know because I don't need the grid to build, but I can't seem to remember all the time to turn it off or when I do, it just randomly appears again. All right. So as you can see in this dining room, I put up this cute little, I don't know, like kind of bar area. Wow. Again, really just to fill in some of this space. And then this kind of open kitchen design here. And the kitchen is really cool. I like it a lot. However, I would recommend if you have the Dream Home Decorator Pack is definitely add a uh, oven in that island. I put a sink there, but because of the limits of base game, there's no oven. So that would be a cool option if you have that Dream Home Decorator Pack is to put you know, that countertop oven there. Or not oven, the stovetop. Sorry. Or the oven. Both of them would work well there because they're flat. Uh, but 
it still looks cool. I like the concept. I've done this in another build. It was another mansion build I did. Actually, no, it was a penthouse apartment build that I did this in. And I really like that one too. So you'll probably see more of those. <laughs> more of these more open kitchens and not all everything along the wall. All right, so this room is grandma's room. And I designed this room as if she brought her own furniture with her. So, you know, not modern, you know, kind of more antique -y maybe. That, that was my thought. She brought her furniture with her when she came to live here. So, it's all designed with that in mind. And the same thing with grandpa's, you know, grandpa's house back there. To an extent. Of course, there, there, that house has a kitchen, you know, all that that's built in. So, I designed, you know, everything to be modern. But then, you know, they brought in their own stuff. So, and I, I do want to mention, yes, I do realize for a lot of these, the curtains don't work <laughs> with the windows. I still don't know why we don't have longer base game curtains. This would be great. This trick too is the shelving above the curtains. I've done that in the past, like way past before I started recording my builds and completely forgot about it until I saw somebody do it um, a few weeks ago. Oh. And I was like, oh yeah, you can do that. I forgot. <laughs> so you might be seeing that more often in builds. Though, with the shelving, you run the risk of them putting plates up there. So I did try in the guest house build, part of this build to use a debug. Let me know how that works out if you download this. If they put plates on that debug or not. I don't think I'll be playing in this anytime soon. But I may just start doing the b debug stuff instead. And now that I think about it, though, that might be where that get-together thing is. So I might have to change out the debug item I used. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. So here, you know, just kind of creating a nice bathroom. My mindset with this was two master bedrooms. And originally I was going to make this the daughter's room. But then I remembered, shoot, I've got grandma to put in here too. And she deserves a suite. So I hate to say it this way, but if grandma dies before, you know, somebody moves out, she can take this room. <laughs> or maybe grandma moves out. She says, heck with you people. I'm moving to Florida. I mean, you know. <laughs> So I also wanted to create a cute little like garden space that was kind of hers. And very, like I said, very limited. I didn't want to put a lot in there so that if you decide to come in and play this, you can kind of customize it to how you think she'd live. Because we don't have a whole lot of information on her. So here I decided that I wanted to put some sort of closet in here. And by closet, I just mean doors and the uh, clothing racks. Now this room is a guest room. And I did this a more modern style. Now I will say if you decide you want the grandfather to live in the house, you can easily put him in this room. So that was part of the reason for designing it with an extra room is then you could put them all into the house. I just kind of reading the description decided he would probably want his own space, but not, you know, too far away. And grandma is very family oriented. So she would want to live with her grandkid. That, that That's my uh, story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. 
So, again, with the guest room, minimal, not a whole lot in there. But I think it's it's cute. It's a cute room. So, with the daughter's room, I tried to keep in mind she's not too far away from aging up. So, I kind of went tween with it, but not too much. There is a dollhouse that I put in. You can see here, I think I ended up putting, yeah, the castle one in. But, you know, there's a few kids stuff, but I didn't decorate this up too much. Because more than likely, if you play in this, she's going to age up. However, if you get rid of this family and you have a child, this room works perfectly. <laughs> so, tried to kind of think of that in that light where, you know, it, you could use this house for anybody, but it also will grow with the Spencer Kim Lewis family. Okay, so here's the master. Okay, I jumped around. I do that a lot. If you've never watched one of my videos, I will find some sort of decor item and jump back to another room I've done because I went, ooh, I want to use that. Or I put it out in the middle of nowhere so I can use it later. But anyway, this is the master, and I wanted them to kind of be able to just look out at the view and... And they have a cute little space. You know, they've got a sofa there. They can read. And I do like how this room turned out. It has a nice walk-in closet. Master bathroom. Again, not a whole lot of decor in here. Because I wanted you guys to be able to throw in some items from other packs. So... I did struggle a little bit with what I wanted to do right here in the bathroom closet area. Looking at it, I'm like, that's too big of a bathroom. We we can't put that much stuff in there. So, you know, made the closet bigger, which I love. I love how that turned out. And just, you know, basic bathroom. It's airy. It's, you know, it's big. It fits the vibe of the house, and that makes me happy. So, the other thing that I'm noticing I'm doing with a lot of these modern builds is white walls. And this is, this house has white walls. Except upstairs in the art studio. But... Something I'm going to work on. I And part of this was base game. It was just easier to, you know, do white walls in this. But that is something I'm going to work on a little bit. I've noticed my modern builds tend to look very similar. Though I've done, you know, a couple that don't. So, working on that. Uh, if you have suggestions for stuff you, you know, you like that are that's modern, let me know. All right, so you can see the closet. I love how that turned out. It just, it looks like you can walk in. You have the mirror there. I don't believe I put anything on that wall. <laughs> that the bed's on, on the other side, you know, the closet side. Again, that might be a good spot for some artwork. <laughs> but if I remember, I might go throw something in there. But I believe we have a few things from other packs that would work really well there. So I might just leave it blank for you guys to add to. Now you can see I'm playing with curtains here. And I do the shelf thing again here. But the master bedroom does not have curtains. And I don't think I put any in the guest room. A lot of that is one base game. We don't have a lot of curtain options. And two, it's a modern home. I'm going to pretend that the windows all have, you know, drop down blinds. 
that come out from the frame. Okay? That's my story again. And that's what I'm going with. All right, so this hallway, I wanted to kind of create, I don't know, some focal point over here. So I put in this cabinetry and this mirror, and then I'm like, I don't like just the mirror being there. So I actually cut out most of what I did. I tried so many different things to kind of frame this mirror. And what I ended up with was these, you know, kind of prison bars that ended up looking really cool. So, if you download this, yes, that's prison bars in your modern house. But it works. It looks good. I like it. All right. So, so that's kind of where that went. And then just kind of a, you know, a desk area, reading area type thing for everybody to use. And I like this. I thought it's good use of the space. Also could be, you know, enclosed and you can make it into uh, some enclosed space. And of course, you know, other packs, you can add stuff to that. So, and then here's just another like gathering space. Originally, I was thinking it would be a private patio for the other room, but decided against that and put it on the other side. Now... I know you're thinking, well, what about the master? They don't have one. They don't need one. They have the entire house, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I just didn't add one. I thought about it, but I didn't really want to cover the bottom area. Though, I will say I do kind of cover it later. But that's more because I realized I'm in base game only and can't do what I wanted to do. All right. So here you can see kind of playing with different things, figuring out what I want to do with these little, I don't know, decorative areas that I created because it needed some interest and not to be a big block. But... I like the bushes up there. We're going to pretend that, you know, their gardener just opens the windows. These windows open. I'm going to say they open and waters them or they have to get up on a ladder or, you know, they're wealthy. There's a sprinkler system. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're moving upstairs to the art studio, and I wanted this to be very bright, very, you know, lit up with windows, and I also have this kind of deck area where you can also go out and paint. I didn't put an easel out there uh, because there's a few in this studio that you can just drag out there. There, there's a few things I do put out there though. But with the studio, I wanted to create some areas where you could set up um, somebody trying to paint different things. So I have the easels here. The one is kind of facing this platform with a chair where you could probably, you know, have a sim sit and, you know, your sim could paint them because luckily they kind of take a picture and then paint from that. <laughs> so if you could get your sim to sit there for a couple seconds while your painting sim says, this is what I'm painting, it should work. I have not play tested that part of this build because in theory it, it should work. But as you can see, just kind of putting a few things here and there that would create some interest. I did struggle with what I wanted to put on this patio because I didn't want it to be empty, but I didn't want it to have too much on it either so you could bring out your easel. Uh, my other thought with this is even though they'd have to walk through the house, you could do like a art studio classroom type thing. And that being said, 
I am uploading this room to the gallery so you could use it as an art studio independently. I don't think I'm gonna like, I might take where I have the chimney out when I do that, just create a little more space and add in maybe a couple of easels once I do that. But um, other than that, it's gonna kind of stay the same size. And I think like looks wise, it's pretty good. I'll probably remove the one interior door too and put another window, but that'll be up on the gallery as an art studio. Not sure exactly what I'm naming it yet because I think I have a build that's art studio. <laughs> but, uh, but it'll be on there. And if you don't know, my name on the gallery is Building Sims YT. I always have it listed below in the description so you can find my builds. Oh, but yeah, I try to to upload rooms when I really like them. I may I may upload I think I have another room that I haven't uploaded that's a teen room that might fit into the the daughter's room here. I cannot remember their names. I'm horrible with names in real life. And I forgot to leave open the thing that told me what their names were. So bear with me. I really didn't play in the base game too much. And I don't play townies. I play my own Sims. So yeah. And since I don't interact too much, I'm trying to change this. I don't usually interact with much in the world. I usually keep my Sims at home. I am changing that. I'm trying to get them out and doing more and not speeding through gameplay. So we'll see. Now the gym area, I wasn't sure where I wanted the gym. So you can see I put in this kind of like entertainment space. Again, I didn't put a lot in there because we do have some things from other packs that could easily be fit in there. And so I left just a couple of things to give an idea of what you know I was thinking with that space. The gym is small. It's not, you know, it's just got a few things in it. But I think it works for the family. It, they don't need a whole lot, but they have their gym. Originally, that gaming space was what I was thinking would have a gym in it. But I changed my mind. So that's why I had to add it on. And that's fine. We had plenty of space to add that to. It also makes the house look a lot better from the uh, map. It's something I'm trying to pay attention to is how these houses look from the map. Part of the reason I did the roof the way I did is I just didn't like how this house blended in with everything. With a flat roof, it looks much better. I mean, it's modern in Willow Creek. Yeah, it's going to stand out like a sore thumb. Okay. <laughs> but I think it looks much better. So here originally, I was thinking, you know, let's make this more traditional for this guy and I got in here and I looked at it and I wasn't sure and then eventually I kind of decide I, I don't like it at all so I get you know the appliances kind of figured out I like the general layout I just didn't like the cabinetry so I end up using the more industrial I wanted this to feel warmer without feeling old so again it's going with that kind of more modern feel to things that would come with the house when it's built and then you have that more traditional-ish type vibe in the furnishings that grandpa brought with him 
So I think I pulled it off. I think I blended it really well. And I like I like it. In fact, I like this house quite a bit. This might be something else that I will have to save as a room. I'm going to put it on its own lot and maybe upload it on its own. Because I think it's cute. And that way, you know, if you want to just have this house, you don't have to do all the work. So I may do that too. I, I know I talk about this and sometimes I do these things and sometimes I don't. If you get on the gallery and I've said I'm going to do it and you don't see it, leave me a comment on the video, on a build on my gallery, though I don't check that as often as my video comments. I usually go in to see if somebody's commented at least once a day, if not twice, so I can, you know, talk to you guys. And... But anyway, if that's something you guys want, you're like, you said you do this. Just remind me because I do have a lot going on, especially right now. For those of you who don't know, I am moving next month. Well, not too far away, but just to a different apartment. And so the next month or so will be hacking and cleaning and, you know, everything you have to do to get prepared. Uh... I still don't even know where I'm moving yet. Um, I have a couple of spots picked out, but I'm currently waiting for my brothers in my living room right now between apartments. And we're waiting to hear back on his. So that's, that's a lot of that right now, of my waiting to apply to anything. So, because if he can't get in, I got to get a two bedroom. <laughs> all right so anyway as you can see i as i said we're gonna have grandpa brought his own stuff okay so definitely doesn't necessarily fit with the modern though i think these sofas they're industrial so they work and that's why i kind of was like you know we have the industrial cabinets We'll say he has industrial, and it works with the modern. I, I think you can make those combine pretty well. So here, you know, playing with these blinds, I wanted to give that illusion of he could pull the down, blinds down for privacy. And you can see here I'm playing with debug stuff, trying to figure out how to make these look a little bit better. And I love this. I love this so much. It looks really good. I am going to say if you notice that little spot there on the wall from the debug shelving, I fix that later. Okay, it's not there. Okay, it's there, but it's hidden. So I thought this was cute. As I said, this is something that I've done before but forgot about. And I can't remember who I was watching on YouTube that did it. But it might have been Little Simsy. Because I know I've watched quite a few of her videos <laughs> lately. I, I like seeing what she does with her builds. I really do. But. Yeah. I'm hoping that works better than using shelving. And that's another reason I may download this. And kind of play in this house specifically. Or not download. But make this a separate lot is just to see if they put plates up there because if that works i will be doing that more often when it fits because you can't change the color of those <laughs> so that's the downside all right so this bathroom's just a simple bathroom i don't even know why i really showed it it's you know a bathroom but i think i just went yeah no point in cutting it it takes you know maybe a minute <laughs> to decorate so <laughs> But you have your downstairs bathroom, and there is an upstairs bathroom with a shower. I added in a little bit of clutter. I didn't want to put too much over here. Mostly because if you play this without the for rent pack, you might have your Sims trying to come out and do things out here. 
because we all know how the lock door option works. It just doesn't sometimes. So I try not to put too much in that kitchen. Really, like I said, unless you have the four rent pack and use this as a rental, I really think you're going to have the, you know, grandpa's going to be in the house with everybody else anyway, most of the time. Really, it was just something different to do. I mean, not different. I've done this before, <laughs> but, you know, extra fun. And like I said, if you have the four rent pack, you could rent this out to anybody. So that would be a fun, a fun way to play. And I know the four rent pack is glitchy, but a lot of that has to do, I think, with some payment stuff, which I haven't had a huge problem with, but I haven't played with it a whole lot either. And just figuring out how it really works. I also did try it without mods for a while, or I didn't have many mods, and it seemed to work pretty well for me there. So, so just a heads up, if all you're hearing is it's horrible and it doesn't work. I, I think it's starting to work. <laughs> and it's also a mod thing. Um, I think there are some people who use mods that they don't think would interact with that, but they do. So that's all. All right. So like I said, up here same type of thing I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do here but he brought his own stuff still and I I struggled with this rug and trying to figure out what would work best here because it, it, it it's just a struggle we need more base game rugs that I don't know do more <laughs> If you've noticed, I think here in the office, and I want to say maybe one other place, I layered the rugs, and that's something I'm going to probably do a little more of as I do these base game builds, because it creates something different. Using the same items over and over again is going to be fun. I mean, luckily, it's only two worlds I'm going to be doing these towny makeovers for but as i said i'm debating about making this a save file and i'll have to redo or you know do a whole bunch more the other thing if i do that save file let me know do you want me to leave empty lots i was thinking maybe like one one each world not anything too crazy or should I fill it all? My first thing was fill it all. But if anybody's like, no, I want an empty lot. If I get enough of the, that feedback, I might. What I might do too is just go in and decorate those so they look like they're, you know, natural lots. They're not just sitting there. Or maybe do like a abandoned house thing or something. So let me know what you think in the comments. All right, so I <laughs> really struggled. I wanted to have curtains along by the patio. I don't know why, because you really can't see into that window. I was thinking privacy, but I didn't put curtains <laughs> on the other windows. <laughs> so I don't know, but it is what it is. It's a cute house. All right, so pool area the wonderful hot tub that nobody likes but it's base game so that's why it's there if you own any of the other packs replace it i know i will probably go in and replace it because i'm going to put this into my legacy game that i'm doing because I'm kind of building it up as a world that I can 
play with besides my legacy game. So it's going to be like a, I'm calling it a starter world. So I like to play with myself. And so I'm raising myself up from a child into an adult. And I don't want to have to do that every time. So this is going to be a game that I can just copy over and use whenever I want, you know, my, my sim self to have family members <laughs> for gameplay. But I also am doing it as a legacy type, type file. So that is something I do recommend if you enjoy playing like your sim self and the families is create that is like a base file and then you can do all you know play with all this fun stuff in different save files I, I think that makes the game a little more interesting and you're not necessarily messing up a game you're playing to go play with the newest pack or something yeah. so <laughs> that was my thought on that I actually tried it once before and ended up not doing or forgetting to save a copy. And yeah, I thought, or maybe I thought I had, I can't remember, but yeah, it was not fun. So here I decided I wanted to do the seating area. And originally I was picturing a like fire pit. And then I remembered base game doesn't have any. So I made it so you could put one in. I did check it off camera to make sure one would fit and work and be decent. So it is, you know, very easy to throw one in that chair area if you want to put a fire pit in there. So now just kind of figuring out all the outside decor at this point I still wasn't sure how I wanted to do the foundation on this house so part of me wanted to move it up a couple and you know have this nice like I don't know upper you know deck area out back but I decided not to do that eventually, and I, I like how it looks. It, it looks good, but that is why I kind of waited to do any of that until I got all this fun landscaping figured out, and I really love this little, I don't know, flower bed. I didn't want to do a whole lot of landscaping here, but when I did play test this, I realized that, you know, there's that path there and you might want to add some trees to that side because I didn't fence this in or even debug fencing. I'm not uploading it with any of that. I'm going to leave this open, but might be an idea or even like I said, maybe a line of trees or the taller bushes. There's options. Because a lot of people were using that path. <laughs> I know it's the Sims. They don't care. But if you do, that's options. So now just figuring out all the foundation stuff and what I'm doing there. Getting the pathways figured out too. So... Finishing touches, because guess what, guys? We are almost done with this 55, six-minute build. I'm not sure how long it's going to be when I put the pictures in, because I forgot to do that before I started recording. So, yeah. It might be like 56 minutes long. <laughs> All right. I did not expect this build to be that long, but... This ended up a more detailed build than I planned on doing. But that's a good thing. It means it should be a good build, right? And I like it. 
So, you know, really in my mind, that's all that matters is that me, the person who built it, likes it. <laughs> and I'm hoping you like it too. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, just kind of doing some landscaping. One thing, the eraser is your friend because it helps fix your mistakes. And that's great. So I wasn't sure where I wanted to put a mailbox, by the way. So here I decided I didn't want the Sims just walking off this patio area. So I wanted to put something here and I thought a fountain would be a good idea. And I like it. I put the, I believe it's the ones that shoot up are the fountain type I put in here. And it works. The leaping ones would be cute too. I think I, I started with that and then changed my mind. But the leaping would be cute as well. But yeah, these should be the ones that just shoot right up into the air every once in a while. I wish... We just had the bubble option, but when I tried to use it, it didn't look right. So that was sad. So I put this fence here mostly because it just looked weird not having it. I do realize that it sticks into a window. I haven't uploaded this yet, so I'll probably go fix that <laughs> before I upload it. But yeah, just now lighting, putting in some lights, uh, just to make it look kind of cool and fun. And we are at the end of the build. All right, guys. So after my finishing touches here, then we'll really be at the end of the build. All right. So I do hope you enjoyed watching this. If you've watched the entire thing, please comment below your favorite part of this build. Again, I had a lot of fun doing this and I hope you guys will enjoy playing in it. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy this and I'll be right back. Alright everyone, so again, I hope you like this build and I hope you consider downloading it to put into your save files. I have not started the next house yet, so <laughs> it's either going to be the Goths or the Pancakes house. I have a poll going up on Instagram today. I think it might have just gone up actually being it's 10 a.m. I can't remember if I did it for 10 or 1, but this Saturday. So it should still be up. I will probably start building tomorrow as of posting. So it'd be Wednesday. So I'm hoping you guys will stop by that poll and put in your thoughts and help me choose which one to do next. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you on Friday. Bye now.